Hello guys, what is up? It is Cayman here, and today I want to start a new series about braces. <sighs> okay, so I've had on my braces for about like seven months now. Next month will be eight months, and I know I'm jumping on this train kind of late because I'm probably be getting mine off like next year sometime or the year after that. But hey, if that happens, and that just means more videos for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to be telling you guys about how to keep your teeth white. Okay, today I'm going to be telling you guys about like, the basic things about braces, like, let's say you just got your braces on and your mouth really hurts. Uh, eat really soft foods, like, I don't like some of these foods, but I would eat them just to keep from having, like, my braces hurt. And this could go for if you just got your braces, if you got them tightened, if you got a different wire, if you got different bands, if you got rubber bands, because I have those on right now, they hurt really bad at first when you get them, and they sometimes hurt when they, you know, are on your teeth, but you get to have straighter teeth and well, I don't know what else to profit off of them other than straighter teeth but rubber bands are so bad like rubber bands hurt a lot but you gotta deal with them because if you don't deal with them then your teeth will not get rid of the overbite crossbite they won't align I don't know but I have mine on for my overbite right now I need to have one for a crossbite after this so yeah okay so off track let's go back to how to stop pain okay here are some foods that I recommend that you should eat when you first get them on or whenever you get them tightened or whatever because it hurts and you can't eat hard food or else it feels like you're literally gnawing through cement and it will hurt so so bad okay so Raymond any kind of Raymond noodle because just make sure you don't eat them in the bag because you need to have them thawed out and cooked because some people eat them in the bag at least that was an elementary trend I guess um there's chicken noodle soup there's pudding there's yogurt ice cream okay so I already said all those things oh, what else any type of soup I know that's probably more than that it's just that I'm really dumb and I can't think of a lot of things or put something cold in your mouth because coldness helps mask the pain because sometimes it makes it numb but say if you're cutting yourself with a wire in your mouth by accident, then they should give you wax, which I kind of wasted mine because I don't know where it is. But you should have wax, and then if you put it on your like, gum or your teeth, whatever, it's like poking, then the wax will stay there, and the wire won't be able to poke through it because the wax is so strong the way the wire can't really do anything to it. Which you might have to replace every single few hours because it might wear out, but, you know, it should last a few hours. I've never had to use wax, even though I probably should have, because I lost it, so... Yeah, I'm dumb. I know that's gonna be basically two videos in one because I want to talk about these two things at once because or to split stuff into two videos, but I probably have to mix them up because it won't be long. Okay, if you want to have decently white teeth, you're not gonna have white teeth. Like, if you see somebody on YouTube that has no braces and their teeth are freaking white, it's because they probably use whitening strips, but you can't use that with braces because if you use them with braces, then it will leave like these like, yellow spots because like you can't. You can't take your brackets off, so they're gonna leave yellow spots. So then all of your teeth will be perfectly white if you use whitening strips or whitening toothpaste. But then you have those gross yellow squares on your teeth, and you don't want that because then you'll look weird and it will take a long time to get them off. And it'll just be a pain in your butt to do that. So here are the ways brush your teeth twice a day or three times. I know most people can't do it three times, but at least do it once in the morning and once at night before you go to bed. Just do it. One, your breath will smell better and people will like you more. Two, your teeth will stay white. Three, this is another tip. Don't use whitening toothpaste or else it will leave those squares on your teeth. Don't do it. Also, if you want better smell, Beth, use mouthwash. Just use mouthwash. It helps a lot more. What you come in school it helps a lot. Okay, if you want to keep your teeth clean, this is like basically part of the whitening process. If you want to keep stuff out of your teeth, like food or whatever, or if you can't get in a certain spot between your brackets or something, or between your teeth, use this little buddy. He goes like this and he helps you a lot because I've used him. I just used him because I just brushed my teeth before this video because it's like, it's 11, 10 a.m. This is how you use it. But you go like this and get it in your teeth. And if you get the right kind, they should already have a tiny bit of toothpaste on them, which I think mine do because I can taste the toothpaste. But it will get all this gross out of your teeth. Like, you keep going like, you keep going like this. So yeah, that's basically how you use this little guy and... This looks like really gross. You know, I just woke up and I just ate and I don't know if I really got anything out of my teeth. But there's this little guy again. Has a lot of crap all over him. Okay, now we're going to move on to the rubber bands like these things that you're here on your teeth. We're going to move on to those and what colors you can use to make your teeth whiter. Because these things actually can help your teeth look a lot whiter. Because if you have a darker color or something or like a certain color on your teeth, it'll make your teeth look way better. It'll make them look way whiter than you want, like as you want them to look. And it'll basically look how you want them. And I actually use this trick because I have two colors on my teeth that should make my teeth look white, but they probably don't. Remember, your teeth aren't always white. They aren't actually white. They have a yellow tint to them. Your teeth are originally yellow tinted. They will not always be white. You can't get them white instantly. It takes a while. Okay, now on to the rubber band. Here are the colors that you should not get first because these colors make your teeth look even yellower. And you don't want that. Don't get clear rubber bands on your teeth because if you after you eat something or you drink something, they will stain and you won't be able to get the, the stains off. Like you can sometimes get the stains off, but you can't. You wouldn't be able to eat like any yellow stuff like mac and cheese. You wouldn't be able to eat like 
you know, like that gross cheese that you get out of the can. You wouldn't be able to drink pop, I think. Soda. Sorry, I know that some of you guys would get, like, really offended by that. Because a lot of you probably aren't from where I am, where we call it pop. But I call it soda, so just to make people not mad. So, uh, basically, if you drink something or eat something that's, like, not, like, a gross... Like, if like, you eat something or drink something that's a gross color and it's yellow or brown or whatever, it's going to stain your clear rubber band, so don't... Don't get them. Okay, next off. Don't get white rubber bands because once again, they'll get stained. You don't be able to get them off. And they're basically like clear ones. And some people would think that getting white rubber bands would make your teeth whiter. No, it doesn't because then it compares a contrast between your teeth and your rubber bands. And your rubber bands will win because it's whiter than your teeth. Yellow and other white colors, which obviously yellow will make your teeth look gross. Just don't do it. Especially if you're from my school because our colors are black and yellow. Which black could help because black's a good color that makes your teeth look whiter because a dark color makes your teeth look whiter. Just don't get yellow because yellow will mess you up. Certain shades of brown and green, not a light green, and at least where I go to, the neon green looked good, but certain shades of green will make it look like you have like something like, will make it look like you have something like lettuce or broccoli in your teeth, so yeah, I don't do that. And brown will make you look like you have like meat or something in your teeth. Okay, now here's the ones that I know that make your teeth look whiter. If you get a dark blue or light blue, there's lavender that you could do, there's lilac, I'm pretty sure like a pink like I have one right now, that type of pink could work, turquoise, I think that dark green could work, red could probably work, black, because I have black one right now and it, it's made my teeth look a lot better. Okay guys, I'm sorry if this video is short, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this new series, maybe leave a like and comment and maybe subscribe and if you want to get notifications whenever I post and click that bell beside the subscribe button. And if you guys enjoyed this series, please leave a comment and what I should do next, like I could do rubber bands. I could literally do anything, like... I could give q and A. I I could do tips, I could do expectations versus reality, but that'd be kind of awkward. But yeah, just leave a comment below on what you want me to do next time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!